I'm Eric Price with Lycor Biosciences, and I'd like to show you how to calibrate your LI600 porometer fluorometer. In this video, we'll be talking about how to perform a span calibration, telling the instrument to read a specific humidity when it is actually seeing that specific humidity of air. We will use an LI610 portable dew point generator to create this airstream. The things you will need for this calibration will be the calibration clamp that comes with the instrument, the length of tubing with a hose barb for connecting to this clamp, and some other length of tubing to run to your uh, dew point generator. I would recommend using as short of a length of tubing as possible so that uh, the water vapor flushes through the tubing more quickly. You will also need a piece of plastic or laminated paper to clip into the instrument to ensure that we get a good seal and that flow gets to both relative humidity sensors. Let's get started. The only hardware change we'll need to do on the LI600 is to remove the leaf clamp and add the calibration clamp. To remove the leaf clamp, all you have to do is pull it out of the instrument straight ahead. It might take some force, but it should pull straight out. Then you can insert the calibration clamp into its place. And you should hear a click. Now you'll take the 1032 hose barb that came with the instrument and connect it to the calibration clamp. And then connect this end of the tubing with a quick connect to your tank or dew point generator. Next to perform the span, we'll need to turn the LI600 on and connect it with USB to the computer. The LI600 Windows or Mac software will automatically recognize when the instrument is connected. We'll go to Explore LI600 and then in the top left corner, there's a menu with the instrument serial number. If you click on that, we'll go down to instrument calibration and we'll want to select RH span. It says, please read the manual or watch this video. And then we can begin RH span calibration here. Now, we'll want to turn on our LI610 dew point generator, set our temperature to something slightly lower than ambient. So right now my instrument is at 19.7 degrees, uh, but my set point is at 15 degrees. And we will now turn the cooler and the air pump on. And now we are flowing uh, an airstream with a known water vapor concentration into the LI600 uh, through its calibration clamp. We should see on the software that the relative humidity starts to change immediately for reference and sample. One helpful item is this chart down here where you can edit if you want to press the pencil icon in the top right corner of each, uh, each graph. It will let you change the scale of this graph. So uh, I'm going to set mine from zero to 100 percent relative humidity and that way we can at least identify where the relative humidity values are but you'll want to let this dew point generator run for about 30 minutes just to make sure that all of the water vapor gets flushed out of the tubing and into the instrument itself you also want to make sure that you use as short of tubing as possible between the two instruments so that water vapor does not stick uh, to the tubing as much um, after letting this run for about 30 minutes, I would recommend changing the scale on the graphs to a more finer resolution. That way you can truly see when the relative humidity readings actually reach stability. Once they have reached an asymptote and leveled off, you can enter the dew point that you've set on the LI610 itself. In my case, uh, just about 15 degrees. So I would type in 15 and then click on the span button for each relative humidity sensor 
to set those relative humidities to read uh, correctly. Once you've finished the span calibration, you can disconnect the instruments, uh, replace the calibration clamp with the leaf clamp, and you're ready to make measurements. So that is how you do a calibration. Once you're finished, make sure that you put the instrument back together completely as it was, including replacing the buffer beads if you've taken those out, replacing the leaf clamp if you've taken that out, and putting the shells back on the sides of the instrument. Now you're ready to go make measurements. There are several other videos on our support site about the LI-600 and other instruments. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know or contact our distributors around the world. Thanks for watching.